वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेलोसिटीज इन द मेटल कटिंग सो वी आर हैविंग थ्री वेलोसिटीज दैट इज कटिंग वेलोसिटी शेयर वेलोसिटी एंड द चीप फ्लो वेलोसिटी isn't it this is the tool this is the chip and this is the workpiece so here the velocity of the tool with respect to the workpiece we are having the cutting velocity then velocity along this shear plane we are having the shear velocity vs and the velocity of chip with respect to this tool we are having flow velocity or chip velocity okay now if you plot this triangles for these three velocities see here this is our cutting velocity with the shear angle we are having this shear velocity this is shear angle phi and chip is moving along the rake face of the tool in this direction with the chip velocity or flow velocity vf and of course if the tool is here this angle is rake angle isn't it so if this is alpha then this will be 90 minus alpha and this angle will be 180 minus 90 minus alpha minus 5 that is 90 minus 5 minus alpha isn't it and if we apply the sine rule if we apply the sine rule okay what we can write from the sine rule that is vc divided by sine 90 minus phi minus alpha is equal to vs vs divided by sine of 90 minus alpha is equal to vf divided by sin of angle phi okay so simplify this we know that sin 90 minus theta is nothing but cos theta so vc divided by cos of phi minus alpha is equal to vs divided by cos of alpha is equal to vf divided by sin phi okay so we can find if you know a uh, single velocity we can able to find out the required velocity isn't it so this is the relationship between the cutting velocity shear velocity and flow velocity and once again see we can get here the t1 by t2 ratio jo humne dekha tha shuruaat mein it is equal to l2 divided by l1 it is equal to vf divided by vc and it is equal to what the sin of phi divided by cos of phi minus alpha which is nothing but this is our cutting ratio r so once again see r is equal to vf upon vc see here vf upon vc if you write vf upon vc what you will get vf upon vc it will be nothing but c sin phi divided by cos of phi minus alpha isn't it so same thing we have here also isn't it so this is the velocity relationship in the metal cutting operation let us take one example see what is the question so in orthogonal cutting operation the following data has been observed uncut chip thickness is 0.127 mm width of cut 6.35 mm cutting speed is 2 m per second rake angle is 10 degree so what they are asking to calculate so calculate shear angle then the shear strain and the shear strain rate okay so here we are going to solve this question so 
definitely we are not uh, till talk about the orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting in details but definitely we, we are going to talk but <clears throat> till now what we have discussed is the shear strain the shear strain rate the velocities based on that only based on that this is uh, say the question i am taking for the practice so see so that you can get some idea in an orthogonal cutting operation the following data has been observed uncut chip thickness that is t1 is given as 0 0.127 millimeter cut chip thickness how much it is that is 0.228 is given 0.228 millimeter the cutting velocity cutting speed or velocity v is equal to 2 meter per second okay then width of cut is also given that is b is given it is 6.35 millimeter 6.35 millimeter okay so and rake angle is how much rake angle is 10 degree rake angle alpha is equal to 10 degree so of course when the cutting is orthogonal no need to worry we are of course going to discuss it in detail what is orthogonal and oblique cutting so here we are going to find out the shear angle then the shear strain rate strain rate also see shear angle second is shear strain and third is shear strain rate okay so of course first of all we are going to find out the shear angle what is formula for shear angle we know that tan phi is equal to r cos alpha divided by 1 minus r sin alpha so if you look at this r r is what this is cutting ratio t1 divided by t2 we can get it uh, t1 is how much 0 0.127 millimeter and t2 is how much 0.228 millimeter so we will get this chip thickness ratio r is 0 0.127 divided by 0 0.228 it is 0 0.55 or 0 0.56 rather I will write okay and alpha is 10 degree so you can get this phi is equal to tan inverse of what 0.56 cos of 10 divided by 1 minus r 0.56 sin of 10 so you will get shear angle phi as how much so 0 0.56 sin 10 1 minus answer 0 0.56 cos of 10 and divided by answer. shift tan inverse of answer so phi is nothing but you will get around 31.41 degrees so you will get the shear angle here isn't it once you get the shear angle then the shear strain calculation is very easy shear strain shear strain is equal to gamma is equal to what cot of angle phi plus tan of phi minus alpha so cot of phi is how much 31.41 plus tan of 31.41 minus 10 alpha is 10 degree so calculate 1 upon tan of 31.41 plus tan of 21.41 so strain it will be around 2.03 so this is the shear strain we got here now see here for the calculation of for the calculation of the strain rate so what is the formula this is the ratio of shear velocity to the the average thickness of average thickness of primary shear zone so it is generally what is the value of this it is 25 micron isn't it but it is not given in the question not given or not described here so what 
how to take that value of this average thickness of primary shear zone will be equal to what it is one tenth of ls isn't it so first of all ls what is the value for ls we know ls very simple formula that is t1 divided by sin phi so what is t1 here 0.127 divided by phi 31 point sin of 31 point 41 so we get it here the value for this shear plane length of shear plane so divided by sin of 31.4 so it is 0 0.24 0 0.24 millimeter okay so now what is the average thickness of primary shear zone it is 0 0.24 divided by 10 how much it is so it is 0 0.024 millimeter that is again see how much it is how much micron so it is equal to 24 microns micrometer isn't it so what is the shear velocity is given no shear velocity also not given isn't it so what to do so cutting velocity is given from the cutting velocity now we are going to calculate the shear velocity isn't it so see no need to buy hard the formulas you just go for the velocity triangle this is what vs this is our vc and this is our shear velocity vf this is phi this is 90 minus alpha and this is 90 minus phi minus alpha this is the rake angle alpha no need to by heart okay ratne ki bilkul bhi zarurat nahi so yahan pe kya likh sakte hain we have to get the relation between the cutting velocity is given shear velocity is unknown so have the relation between these two that is vc divided by directly i will write cos of phi minus alpha is equal to vs divided by cos of alpha sine of 90 minus theta is nothing but the cos alpha so here see phi v is known to us vc is known to us alpha known to us only vs is unknown so what is vs is equal to so vc is how much 2 into cos of 10 divided by cos of 31.41 minus 10 21.41 isn't it so calculate 2 into cos of 10 divided by cos of 21.41 so it is 2.11 vs is nothing but 2.11 meter per second isn't it now put the values of vc here and you got the average thickness of primary shear zone is almost 24 microns put here so gamma is equal to gamma dot is equal to sorry shear velocity 2.11 and the average thickness of primary shear zone is almost 24 micron that is into 10 to the power 6 10 to the minus um, 10 to the power minus 6 meter isn't it so it will be in meter and this velocity we have found in terms of meter per second so definitely how much it is shear strain rate divided by 2.24 e to the power minus 6 so it will be around 88.15 into 10 to the power 3 what second inverse gamma dot will be how much 88.15 into 10 to the power minus 3 and unit is what per second or second inverse so this is how we can able to calculate the shear strain and shear strain rate in the metal cutting operation okay thank you